now you have a movie, your own movie, it's about your life. Yes, what do you yeah. think about that? Yeah. And what do you think about me doing no, I won't Luis tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what I think about you. No, no. no. Look, uh, it's embarrassing <laughs> yeah, to say to people, come and see a movie about, about me. me. Yes, please. I know. Please be merciful, you know. So that's, that's embarrassing. Yeah, no, my main prayer from the get-go was that it glorify God, that it inspire young people who think they have no chance in life. Yes. Uh, to, to believe that God has ways of doing things that we can't imagine. Yes. How God can take a guy from a little town in Argentina, take him out to the world and reach a lot of millions of people, mm -hmm. which was an exciting concept. Yes, I had never course. sat down to think about it. I said something, I mean, in the middle of the, of the movie, in one scene, I said, I say, it's not my glory, it's for the glory yes, of God. God yeah. So I think that you still think that, I mean, about everything. Yeah. It's not our glory, it's, for, yeah. it's not for sure. our glory, it's yeah. just for the glory of God. Yes. So what do you think or what do you imagine about this movie? What can this movie do? do? Yes, I'll tell you what this movie could do, could do with the anointing of God. I was hoping that when I told that you did it pretty well, by the way, uh, about Ian Thomas, you remember about Christ Ian living Thomas. in us? Yeah. Ian Thomas, beautiful scene yeah, that, and yeah. beautiful actor. He, yeah, Richard, and you went so. and you, I was told that you did it, he took a, yes. another thing and you got on your knees. Yes. That's what I did. I went to my room and really? that, yeah, after, oh yeah, yeah. Really after acting. hearing him, I went straight to my room. Just to say, at the, I'm sorry, Lord. Yeah, I said, Lord, me. you take over. I uh, uh, No more Luis Palau. That's it, that's it. Just relax in his power and believe that when you get up to proclaim the good news, God is at work. Yes. Because that's what he wants the world to know. So. It's not something you imagine or create. <clears throat> yeah. So as far as you, can I get back to that? Yes. Yeah. I think it's very moving. I've seen a change in you, actually. You know, yes. in your the way you talk, yes. the way you seem to understand. I watch you on interviews uh, that I was watching, and uh, that you are understanding what I what we believe and what we're trying to communicate. And yes. when you got up to speak in Bogota. I thought, man, he could do it without me, you know, <laughs> you know, because you were so fired up and you were preaching with enthusiasm, uh, just like Andrew would, or mm -hmm. you know. So I've seen, uh, I've seen in you uh, touches of God. I feel, but you know better. But I've heard you say it so that God has been working in your heart and in your life, and so, you know, if somebody asked you, can you pinpoint Gaston? when you surrendered your life to Christ, what would you answer to that? I, I think that I had that opportunity uh, 11 years ago, 11. 11 years ago and two months, uh, uh, when I raised my head and I said, I can't do this uh, alone, yeah, uh -huh. please help me. Help yes. me. I don't know where's the key, I don't know where's the door, I don't know where anything. I, just, I can't see. You I just can't turned see. to God. Yes. So at that moment I put my life in his hands. In his hands. Yeah. So that, that is where my life, I had, I had a, re, how do you say that? Rebirth. See, re, rebirth. Re, re, yes. Rebirth, new rebirth. Birth. Yeah. So, um, and maybe one year after that, you call me on the phone just to say thank you for that. The film. The film, the that film. The documentary. The that program I, that you Yes. Made, yeah. So at, at the end, you, say, you said something like, maybe God will bring us the opportunity to meet us, meet, meet us together. Meet, how meet do you together. Say? Meet again. together yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't remember that. So I think God's timing is always perfect. We are here. Now, yeah. you said I've had an experience yes. that I never had before. Yes, and you told me about your situation. So tell me, tell me again. Huh? 
that's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, it was a beautiful moment. Really hard, oh, yes. but beautiful at the end. <laughs> I, we were there shooting our maybe 10 last scenes of, of the movie. And I mean, the second day, we were there for two days. And at the second day, I mean, on the second day, I had maybe one of the most difficult scenes in the whole movie. Yeah. I mean, it's the preaching scene. I mean, Bogota, yes, yes. Bogota, 1966. And I had a lot of text there, <laughs> maybe three pages. Wow. So I started to do that scene in front of maybe 100 extras with the whole I mean, the whole crew yeah, there, yeah. and I lost it, my voice completely. It's, it was gone? Absolutely gone. Wow. So, I was there, in front of the crowd, with, I mean, the whole crew waiting for me, just to say, and, and they, they and nothing were... nothing happened? Nothing. I mean, so, I started to think, what I'm gonna do now? <laughs> Please, Lord, help me. And I started to pray. Yeah. I mean, after maybe 10 minutes. And I started to pray. And all the extras, they started to pray. I see. So we prayed together. <laughs> we prayed together. And after 20 minutes, the boys, my boys, returned. Returned. Wow. So, but I'm, I remember, I asked God just to say, and I said to him, please be my voice, be, take my, my throat, be yeah. my voice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, now, and, and I did that scene, I mean, with, my, with all my voice, but I think that in a different way, you oh, know? Unusual. Yes, I understood something about you. Uh in the middle of the scene, while I was there making, filming. doing, yeah. yes, filming that scene, shooting that scene, I understood something. I understood your, your, your heart, I mean, his heart, yeah. his power, yeah, yeah. his love, his, his everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to say, Thank you again for that you, beautiful moment yeah, yeah, yeah. that I had. Yeah, it's amazing. I, the Lord can bring two people together. You know, yes. I just feel like we've been brothers yes. all our life. Yes, you know, and so don't let the moment pass. Keep no. living in Can't it. Live. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Good. That's good. That's good. So you look back on that as a important moment in your life. Yes. Would you think that it's a Ian Thomas moment? You know, in other words. It made Gaston Paul's yes. uh, a, a new person in, yes. in many deep ways. Yes. That's interesting. Yes. Because now I think that I am a believer. You know, I, yeah. I'm now. Yeah. Not I am a believer. Now I believe. Uh, that's amazing. You know, now I believe. Now I understand. Yeah. So Christ in you. That's the key. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for telling us that, you know? That's very really important, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so glad this guy has eternal life. <laughs> yeah. Thank we'll be in heaven together. Talking to Gaston, who plays me as a person uh, in this film, uh, it's just a, an unusual, unexpected, never before experienced experience because I never, th really never thought somebody will make a movie uh, out of my life. In fact, I often wonder what could be interesting. But now I realize it can be quite interesting and Gaston has done it that way. So, but um, the movie has a message on how to live in a way that pleases God with his supernatural power rather than you trying to be more devoted, more religious, more devotional, whatever. Yes, all good, but you learn to live in the indwelling Christ, to walk with God who lives within you from the moment you receive Christ. So I'm hoping 
that this film will bring many, like you, who want to have the assurance of eternal life. I think it'll touch your heart, and that's my prayer.